So in this series, uh, we've learned a lot of concepts. Um, let me highlight uh, the the diff that that we that we have. So uh, basically, what we did uh, first, we went and created this. Uh, GraphQL types uh, for article, recipe, and user, uh, and those were matching the documentation that we had in in the Contenta CMS side. So we took properties that we were interested in, uh, either the ID and type, or attributes, or relationships. Uh, in this case, uh, for the recipe, we took the author. A relationship and uh, connected it to the user ta GraphQL type. So that's the first thing that we did. Then we uh, learned how you can, you need to define your views um, in Drupal Speak to access or to enter GraphQL. And we've been operating on this uh, top level field all the time. So uh, you can pass arguments. That's basic GraphQL stuff. Uh, but what is not basic GraphQL stuff is that Contenta.js GraphQL adds this directive that lets you make a request to uh, to Contenta CMS uh, using JSON API and having uh, variable placeholders like this, and uh, that gets parsed and mapped into the recipe GraphQL type. The result is or uh, is automatically parsed and mapped uh, for you. Then uh, we learned how to add this in, into the Content.js uh, Express app in in here, uh, and you can see that I needed to make a change in in there uh, to to make this work because uh, I forgot to put the, the prefix, otherwise it was detecting it incorrectly. Uh, so uh, we had this file and then uh, we had this helper here uh, that we went through. And basically this is ultimately calling the code that Content.js GraphQL exposes through this simple, servers, uh, simple server with context. Of course, of course you could just create your Apollo server if you had more complex uh, configuration that you wanted to do, because Apollo server lets you do a lot of stuff. This is just a quick way to get uh, up and running. And uh, Contenta.js GraphQL is not meant to uh, solve all your needs out of the box. It's just, um, it's just a, a nice, uh, it's just a nice way to, to get started. Um, so moving on, we then uh, started, made some queries, and then finally went back to the recipe uh, type definition and added this string because uh, your application is likely not going to be all mapped from Drupal. And uh, you will have uh, different APIs, different interactions, and uh, then your project is a Node.js project with an API that serves content and uh, instead of being a Drupal project with a, a React application or, or whatever. And that gives you a lot of freedom and flexibility. So in here we created a random uh, string field and uh, we said, well, uh, in here we don't have automatic mapping uh, from the Contenta.js GraphQL module. So uh, we need to provide inside of the resolver map, uh, we drill down to the recipe and then to the random field and uh, provide what is the going to be the output for this. And that's pretty much it. I hope that uh, you learned a little bit about GraphQL. If, if you didn't, I hope that you uh, get excited about how easy it is to connect your content CMS to GraphQL and then from there, start building. Uh, you get a lot for free using Contenta.js and Contenta.js GraphQL. Thank you.